Welcome to CEE. I'm Disney. Hey. Snapper. Welcome to Cindy E. Eats. I'm Cindy. Hi. Amen, amen, amen. Today, y'all, we got us some good old fried black bass, okay? Do y'all see it? They looking good. I got jalapeno hot sauce. Slap your mama. We gonna try that. Because I don't have no regular hot sauce. And I got some KFC and some uh, Popeye's hot sauce. To drink. Clearly Canadian. Let me pour that up. Y'all, I'm so sad. I can't find my mic again. Just when I did an ASMR video. And got pretty good views on there from eating my good old sherry. And now I got to order me a new microphone. And I want a huge shout out. Huge shout out to Ace Eats and Just Terry B&B. &B. Somebody commented. It was time they couldn't get back. So that means it was time they wasted. I'm sorry for that. Thank you, thank you for your comment. But Ace and Terry, I appreciate y'all very much. So, just like I ain't got my microphone, I ain't had salt and pepper. That's what I usually season my fish with, okay? I ain't had salt and pepper. I had to season it with pepper, this right here, and this right here. I ain't got no regular hot sauce. Ain't nothing regular here, but this regular old Canadian Canadian bits. Let's try. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got some strawberry. Okay. Let's get to eating, baby. This piece just came out of the pan. Okay. Seasoning is right. Seasoning is right. Y'all, we gonna do something I ain't did in a long time, okay? Mm. I ain't gonna forget to take the paper off before I sit down. Came off easy. I'm gonna shake her up. Jalapeno hot sauce. Slap your mama. Let's see what it's tasting like. Not too much. Not too much. What are we gonna do when we ain't doing a long time? We're gonna do us a subscriber count. And I'm gonna watch ours up there, okay? Got my good old handy dandy laptop over here to the side. So, as of today, we got 1,237 family members. I love every each and one of you, okay? Every last one of you, every 1,237 subscribers. Currently, in order to be monetized on YouTube, you have to have 4,000 watch hours. 1,000 subscribers. And no strikes. I ain't got no strikes. Like copyright strikes, I ain't got no copyright strikes. 
got my thousand subscribers. I'm currently at 2,313 watch hours in the last 365 days. So if y'all can do me a great favor and run up my playlist, any one of them, it help me get there. All right now. How is everybody doing today? I mean, y'all can't complain. Cause they ain't gonna change. Nathan. Mm. Now this mukbang came about because I put up a poll and gave up some options. Um, said, which one of these would you like to see? Or make a suggestion. Bonefish one out. Overwhelmingly. And I was shocked. But my sister Diddy told me. But that's really how the poll came about. She told me what I should uh, do a video on. I didn't believe her. But y'all proved the right. Now, usually I'm a croaker girl. It was only recently that I got up on a uh, black bag. I like it because the meat is not too meaty. And it don't dry out. Yeah. Air conditioning is running because I just finished cooking it. My balcony is right there. I just seen by somebody walk past. It looked like it was standing right there at my uh, patio door. It's six twenty-five. This is my dinner. Usually. I would have to record my videos earlier because my grandkids would be in the house and they wouldn't allow me to make my video. Guess what? Child ain't moved out. Thank you, Lord. I'm not saying I don't love my grandkids now or my child. But I needed this, okay? Shout out to Ebony Tynia. I got something for you, boo. I made you up in your DM. Let's try this Popeyes hot sauce. 
I mean, KFC hot sauce. literally say Louisiana hot sauce, so I'm thinking it's like, you know, the Louisiana hot sauce you get in the bottle. Which I really feel like it is. Mm. Y'all, uh, summertime is not over. I mean, it's over, but it's not over. Last few struggling nets in the house, okay? I bought me one of those Zebo things, and it's actually been working pretty well. Let's mix this hot sauce. I got it for Walmart for $20. I like it. Cutting nets and fly. Almost got me. The bike was good. Got something I want to talk about that I've seen on over this past weekend. And it's dealing with black restaurants. Any of y'all know Darius Cooks Williams? I ain't going to get all into who he is, but he is a social media influencer. I know him from Facebook and Instagram. He does have a YouTube under Darius Williams. He does this event every year called Dining with Darius. It goes across the city. And I said, United States. Usually just up and down the East Coast. And it's a dinner that he uh, cooks and stuff because he cooks. He has cookbooks. He sells cookware. Well, recently he started reviewing restaurants to the cities that he go to. Mind you, he's been doing this that I've seen. He does dining with Darius. You go to a restaurant and show you what you eat. Recently, he started reviewing it. And he literally only does black restaurants or restaurants owned by black people. His reviews ain't so great all the time. I see him, he always reviews and gets bad reviews. To be honest, I don't know because I don't even follow reviews like that. Because it's a review. 
You take it for what it is because that's his opinion. Well, he was in St. Louis, honey. And they did not take too kindly to his review of a restaurant called Creole with Soul. The owner of that restaurant went live and she had a few things to say to which he responded back. Nine and getting none all that. In his comments, there's so many people saying, why are you bashing black restaurants? You're a black man, why would you do that? You tearing these businesses down. You shouldn't be doing it. Now with Creole was sold, he said there was no AC in the restaurant. He ordered appetizers and main entree. The entrees came out before his appetizer. And it took 45 minutes and it was three tables in the restaurant seated. He was one of the three tables. He had the largest group. And it took 45 minutes to get his food. Only thing he liked was the nacho that he ordered. I said those was amazing. The lady defended herself saying, I don't know who he is. But he ain't gonna he ain't gonna disparage her business like that. He was very petty. He was real. Good. But that's what people, you know, engage in. Pettiness. Being mean, in my opinion. So, we had an event last night. Donnie with Darius. And another popular restaurant owner attended the Get a ring. Eating his food, critiquing his food, taking his taking pictures of the food and stuff, posting it online. Well, the owner of this restaurant left this fried rice. Left the event. Showed a picture of raw chicken. Went outside and said they had food poisoning. Like literally right outside. He does, he, t he gets like an Airbnb. And does dining with berries. But went right outside the house. And said they had food poisoning. Mind you, this is a $300 event. That means lefties or somebody lefties know pay three hundred dollars to come to this event and then post it. They had food poisoning. <coughs> Went to the hospital and all. So of course, Darius is petty. He responds this morning with the live. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I watched, uh, I don't know how much of this live, but I watched at least 30 minutes. He said, he don't even understand what the problem is because he never even reviewed Lefty's food. He said he went to go review it and the restaurant was closed. So he didn't bash lefties in any way. 
and say, I didn't even know they were in the building attending the event. And look, I would have spoke to them. And said, and nowhere did they tell me they had raw chicken because I would have dressed it. You said, but well, what I really don't understand is why did you wait until the sixth course to leave? I mean, sixth or seventh course to leave when the chicken was served like at the second course, I guess he, he does eight courses. So I think the chicken was served at the eighth, eighth I mean the second course, second course, but they stayed until like the sixth or seventh course that was, which was salmon. So, you know, he was being extra petty. And my, 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 my question is, just you supposed to give these restaurants a pass because they black businesses and you're a black man. Yes, his delivery can be different, but he's an influencer. He gets paid from social media across all platforms that I know of. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. He gets paid for that. He gets paid for his personality. So yes, they could be, you know what I'm saying, a little better in the delivery. But I should be giving them a pass and just saying everything is good. When you can literally look up these restaurants and you can see where people have complained that live there. Oh, I'm tired of this niche. Is he doing his due diligence and reporting the issue? I'll be honest. Why do we have to give them a pass? Because why does he have to give them a pass? Because they have black business. He was in Washington, D.C. To a place called Georgia Browns. And he said, this is a black restaurant owned by black men. He said, two pieces of chicken, a leg and a thigh, cost $25 with no sides. you got people in the comment roof chris this place that place. when you order chicken from roof chris you're getting enough to share when you order in front of these other places you're getting enough to share a leg at a time for $25 chicken, dark meat. The cheapest of the chicken. He asked the restaurant owner, you know, within the restaurant while he was there on camera. The restaurant owner said the market allows it. What he means is the location allows it. Oh, it's next. You put your restaurant in the right location, you get that buzz. You can charge what you want to. So we be giving them a pass or letting them go? Like right now, Burger King, Wendy. I'll sell a cheap burger. And people are like, how are they able to sell these burgers that usually cost such and such, such and such for 50 cents for a penny? 
because they set the standard out they set the standard in pricing they they actually run the market in pricing just like it's something that uh any other product clearly canadians one bottle single bottle costs like three dollars it used to be a dollar but because they stopped selling them and by popular demand it was brought back you can't even buy a case of them you've got to buy single bottles and that's it like it was a dollar and some change it's now two three dollars and some change that's 100 to 200 percent markup they can set the pricing for the product wendy's mcdonald's whoever they literally all get supplied by some of the same companies. They standardize the pricing. Not too long ago, sheep sold gas for a dollar and seventy-three cent a gallon. Everybody been saying it's ridiculous. Why is the gas price so high? Because they set the standard in pricing. They own the market. So they can standardize the pricing to whatever they want. So if there's one one gas station or gas company that set the price at two dollars and fifty cent, everybody around them gotta match it. Or got to be at the same level because you're gonna always go to the two dollar and fifty cent gas station versus the person that's selling it for three dollars and sixty three cents. Sheets announced a dollar seventy three cent gas. BP started selling a dollar seventy seventy three cent gas. Other gas stations started selling a dollar seventy three cent gas. That same day, didn't announce it, but they had to keep up with the market. Cause I I literally stay across the street from Sheets. BP is down the street. They dropped their gas to a dollar seventy three cent to match the sheets, but it was a, a shell station right up the street from BP that didn't change their pricing. Yeah, they got some gas sales, but they didn't get gas sales like sheets in uh, BP. It was kind of off subject, but that was for the the chicken. <laughs> What do y'all think? Y'all let me know. This is a long video. I only ate one piece of bread. One and a half piece of bread. I almost did this ASMR. I will head if I found my mic. the crunch. If you made this part of the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, I leave you with three things. The very first thing is God loves you. So do I. And I'm always here for your viewing pleasure. Hope to see you next time on Cindy Eats. Bye.